Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be an energy read for you today. So I'm going to do a full uh, Celtic cross with some great cards and see, uh, you know, how this can apply to you today. This will be like looking out the window, I like to say, and seeing what the weather's like to, to figure out what you're going to wear. So that's what this energy read will be, how, what to expect today. Let's go. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Lo Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person wise has had their input into it. And uh, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks it's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about uh, author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, uh, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back, they're kind of shiny, and um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing and that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at when I, before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, and there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle, or, or and then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, and I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Okay, so this is going to be for you today. First thing you need to do is take a deep breath and then let it out. Clear your mind and uh, we'll just put do a full Celtic cross with these great cards and uh, see what's in store for you today. And uh, maybe give you a foot, uh, a right foot to step out on before you get your day done. Or maybe if you're looking at this in the evening, you know, way to start your evening. So let's see what's good for you today. I love these cards, and uh, I always enjoy using them, but I had to repair one of them. The back was kind of peeling away from the front, and I just got these. I mean, these are not even a couple weeks old. But um, doing this, I think, is what uh, caused it to kind of chip away at the back, and it sort of peeled a little bit. Disappointing, but what are you going to do? Okay, energy read for you today. I'm going to take six cards. This will be, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here we go. I'll take these and put them to the side because I'm going to need those in just a minute to finish up the last part of this full Celtic cross. So for you today, deep breath, get ready, and let's see what the signifier card is. 
Okay, this is a good one. So this is the uh, the Eight of Pentacles, and this talks to us about uh, you know honing our craft, uh, getting uh, this skill down pat, uh, doing something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until it's just right and ready to be presented to the world. So this signifier card is about us uh, making ourselves as perfect for uh, for this uh, situation we're going to have today. The challenge to this then is going to be oh look celebrations that's great. So the six of uh, wands. Uh, wands are always a um, forward movement, uh, planning, uh, motion, fire, action. And so getting uh, all of this stuff prepared properly is uh, challenged by the celebrations of, of the uh, plans uh, that we make. The basis of this reading then is the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, I always like to say, is, you know, working together in union with someone to perfect some value for public display. That's how it always seems to me, that we're, we're working in tandem with some folks who've got some plans, we've got the skill, someone else has an idea, and we're going to put it all together and come up with something that we can hang out the window and be proud of. Now, the uh, past of this reading is uh, the High Priestess. I love the High Priestess. You know, she tells us that we've got all the knowledge that we need right here in our lap. You know, she's got the secrets of the moon right under her foot, and she has the confidence of, of that, uh, that you would expect uh, to come from a High Priestess. If you're standing before this woman, you feel uh, the benevolence. And so we come in our past from some place of really understanding the knowledge and the power that that knowledge has. Now, the uh, sky of this reading is uh, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is really moving all those plans, pushing that burden forward. But you see, the, you know, this the, the person who's always doing this typically has a good handle on it or a sufficient handle on it. I mean, a twist this way and a twist that way, and some things can come tumbling down, but the effort of pushing this forward is, is, is happening. And uh, that's what's up in the sky of this, to get all of that effort in, in there as we can. And the likely outcome in this first part of this Celtic cross is the emperor. And we love to have the emperor because this is a wonderful outcome. This tells us that there's lots of value, there's lots of determination, and there's a definite direction that this is going to take that will be successful. We're moving in a positive, positive, positive direction. Look at this thing. This is an, a beautiful spread so far. So let's see what the last four cards will be for this, um, this Celtic Cross for Energy Read for you today. And I want to back this up just a little bit to get some of these cards that are hidden under there for the self, the self of this reading. The, this is the core of you today, is the King of Wands. And it is all about, in this reading, uh, actions, movements, uh, making things happen. And uh, there's no reason uh, why you can't be the king of your wands today, the king of your plans, and that's how you should feel about this. You have got this. You've got everything you need to make this move forward. Uh, right off the top here, the um, environment that this is in, look at that, the Queen of Cups. Another strong, emotional, passionate figure surrounded by emotions with a determination that this is going to go forward. This card always reminds me almost of Princess Diana, but uh, the, the Queen of Cups is the environment that all this strength of moving and planning is in. And then the hope and the fears, the hopes and the fears for this, uh, come on to holding on to what you've got, really keeping a steady focus. You know, this takes determination and no frivolity. Okay, we're going to do this with a, a meaning of purpose. And then the sky for this reading, yeah, the, the final outcome, look at that, is the Knight of Swords. And this Knight is coming forward. He's saying, I have victory in my hand and I will bring it to you. So, that's what we've got for this reading today. It's all good. It's all positive. And uh, there's no reason why you can't make this day be one of the best days this week. So if you hadn't thought was this was an important day, maybe you're wrong. Or maybe it's something that someone you know should look out for. Because we started with the signifier of this uh, eight of coins and really knowing to hone our craft, to get this thing down, to understand the minutia, the miniature details, and focus on that. Because what's uh, what we have up against is this big celebration that maybe we're expected to uh, to come into. Uh, we work together with partners uh, with this Three of Pentacles to, to again, perfect this uh, issue for public display. We had in our past the High Priestess, who is all-knowing, all-powerful, all-influencing, uh, uh, and that's how we came into this. But it's never an easy journey. You know, it's, it's a tough uh, push to get all those that bail up the hill. But know in yourself that you are the king of wands. You're the king of action, the king of... Uh, 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 fire and and moving this this issue around, but you've got the right balance of the Queen of, of uh, 
Cups, the Queen of Passion and Temperance, right here uh, aside you. And then with the uh, hopes and the fears, it's just holding on to that value, keeping it sturdy, keeping it steady, and moving it forward because the Knight of Swords, which was the final outcome, is going to make sure that this victory is noticed. It's done. You can do this. It's your day. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. <laughs>